What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's video we're going to be talking about rendering software for architects. So creating some high quality rendering, some realistic renderings are is something that's really popular and in really high demand these days. So I decided to create kind of a countdown of five different software that you can use uh, in order to create these uh, high quality renderings, something that's most popular amongst the architecture community online today. So we're just going to have a list of this and a little bit of an explanation of each one in today's video. Uh, now before I get into that, if you're interested in some Revit courses, uh, I've got uh, both beginner, intermediate, as well as advanced level courses on my website, uh, balkanarctic.com. That's going to be the first link in the description just below the video. There I cover numerous Revit topics from beginner topics to some uh, perhaps construction if that's what you're into, uh, scheduling and so on, up to appearance and things like that. So we kind of cover everything. Uh, and of course, please uh, make sure to subscribe and like and share this video. It really helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm and then it promotes the videos to more people that might be interesting, which is really nice. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. And let's start with the one that you've probably all heard about, and that is Lumion 3D. So Lumion offers real-time rendering, and the output can be renderings, animations, virtual reality, and virtual tours. Uh, now, the main issue can be computing power, as it requires a lot of it, uh, but uh, in the quality settings, uh, you can set them to be low, and then uh, it can manage to work even on some slower machines. Uh, one of the good points of Lumions is that it will work with most 3D modeling software. Uh, material exchange or animated materials, so to speak, are available, and it's a and it's really good when it comes to displaying glass and water. Uh, now, advanced sun settings and sky settings are available as well, and they will affect the lighting of the scene. Uh, that basically means that the sunlight, for example, uh, that's kind of on your building during the day, uh, will be a little bit different than the sunlight uh, on a uh, sunset scene when the sky is kind of orange-like, then that light that uh, that uh, that covers your building will be a little bit orange. Uh, you have animated landscape ob objects as well with advanced placement options as well as properties. You can animate people, cars, pets and so on and you can use all of this to create uh, flybys and time lapses. Uh, photo styles and photo effects are available too and finally you can change the model and reload it after those changes and it's quite seamless. Uh, moving forward, the second one is going to be Twin Motion, and it's also a real-time rendering software. Uh, compared to Lumion, the adjustments are a little easier to make, and it comes with a ton of cool features like changing the season automatically, changes the colors of leaves on trees. It can place people and choose their pose. Compared to Lumion, uh, the amount of models and overall crispness is uh, just a tiny bit better. Uh, also, uh, the grass in Lumion is generated as material, whereas in Twin Motion it's an object. Another amazing option is phasing, so you can uh, simulate uh, construction sequences, and uh, also it has batch rendering, which is cool. Now, of course, we cannot go on without mentioning V-Ray. This is a rendering op uh, and re rendering engine that operates as part of the modeling software of your choice. It's quite popular. It brings in assets like materials, lights, elements, uh, textures, and of course, uh, the thing that everybody loves, and that is 3D grass. Uh, it has some dome lights, uh, uh, dome light, which is essentially means it, it mimics uh, how the surroundings cast light on your model, which is really cool, and it does bring in a lot of realism. Also, it has the snow effect, which is quite cool. Now, the next one is Enscape, and Revit users love Enscape. It's also a, just like V-Ray, it runs as part of the software you're using, the, the, your modeling software. It's extremely fast and easy to use. It has material settings, animations, a vast 3D object library, which even includes some 3D trees and things like that. 
And finally, well, it's time for the absolute best rendering software there is, and that's the one that you're already using. Uh, so uh, uh, we tend to get overwhelmed when we see some really high quality or high-end renderings, uh, but in reality, these are quite rare, and most clients just don't have the budget for something like that, and for most projects, that isn't really necessary. So unless you're trying to promote yourself as somebody that specializes in creating hyper-realistic 3D renderings and animations, well then just the basic rendering engine within Revit or any other software of your choice that you're using for modeling is probably going to be the best one for you. And then as you become better as an architect and your budget starts going up, then you can uh, maybe start thinking about investing in one of the softwares uh, that they've just mentioned. Uh, but uh, for the most part, uh, make sure to concentrate on your job being an architect and then for uh, for some renderings uh, make sure that that is just for fun and only if the project requires that and that's going to conclude this little overview of rendering software for architects. Uh, please tell me in the comment section below what's your choice, what do you like to use when it comes to rendering software, or are you here for the first time just kind of thinking about it and uh, thinking what would be best for your needs and your purposes. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and I'll be back with another Balkan Architect Revit tutorial in a couple of days. Have a nice day.